And here's the sample test in full. Um, over here you can see I've kind of got a crib sheet ready by putting the endings of the nouns from the back of the stage booklet ready here for section two. Uh, so we can kind of cheat in this video then. But let's go into uh, section one, which is seeing if we understand what the cases actually mean in English and what they're for. So we've got to be careful to look at the underlying now and say whether it's nominative, accusative or dative. So let's first of all do the easy ones. The subject of each verb is going to be nominative, isn't it? So let's let's just go through and look here for any underlying subjects. So bears are one, because they are doing the loving, so let's put that in there. And going further down, we see this sentence is in three, three copies of it. But Caecilius, E here, Caecilius is underlined, so he's doing the buying, so he is nominative. Now it gets a bit harder, because we have to distinguish between the accusative and the dative. So to get the accusative, we have to ask ourselves this question, what is being loved given, attacked, bought. What is on the end of the verb, okay? So if we look at the first sentence here, right, he gave some wine to the dog. Can you see that the wine is what's being given, so that would be accusative. And the word to there is indicative that it's dative. So the dog is having the wine given to it, so the dog would be dative. This one, Augustus attacked the city, that's straightforward, stage two accusative. Looks amazing, there we go. And we've got two left, D and F. Okay, this one and this one. We've got Caecilius being the subject here, the nominative. So he's buying Metella a present. So what is, this is hard because there's no word two or four there. In this one we have the word two, in this one we don't because English can say things differently. So what are we going to do? Well, there are different ways of approaching this. Um, one way of doing it is to try and rephrase this in English that has the word to in it. So you might want to think about that and, and conclude, well, here we go. Caecilius bought a present for Metella. Okay, or, yeah, here it's for, isn't it? So Caecilius bought a present for Metella. That should make that clear that Metella is dative. And what's being bought, well, the present is what's being bought, so that would be accusative. So that together would mean that here, in D, Caecilius bought Metella a present. It's the present that's being bought, so the present would be accusative. Whereas in F, Caecilius bought a present for Metella. Metella is the person receiving the present, so she is dative. And that's the first section done. OK, zooming down to section two now. It, this is simply a question of knowing the endings, OK, uh, with one possible confusion that I'll talk about in a minute. So if we uh, you should have learnt these, OK, the endings here with, with the new row for the dative singular and dative plural. I shan't go across to this. I'll just uh, assume that we know them. So that means that um, amikos is going to be accusative plural. That you learnt from stage eight. Uh, Caecilius, the last one, is obviously nominative singular, the first one. Now, these two here, cannibus and puellis, are the new dative plural ending. That one's third declension, that one's first declension. So let's tick those two in. The slightly awkward one is we I here, because you probably learnt in stage five that the AE, like Puelli, can be the nominative plural. Okay, so that's okay. But also the AE ending can be dative singular. Okay, so you can put two ticks in there, but it just does says one. So let's um let's get rid of one of them. Any correct answer gets the mark. So either there or there will get the mark. If you put both in, uh your teacher may let you off that but it does say tick one box for each but be aware that the AE can be either of these two and finally we're putting it into uh, into action with some translations so let's work out how we can um, get the low-hanging fruit here we've got in the English the master and the masters gave the dogs or dog 
to friends or women, woman. Okay, so let, let's go for the two with the women in because there's just two of those. The master gave the dog, they're both the same, to the women, to the woman. You see how that's plural, women, with the E there, and that's singular. So let's find a singular master, singular dog, and then two words for women. So it's that one and that one because those are the two words for women. They're all both the same in Latin apart from this, this one and this one. That's the dative plural, that's the dative singular. So we're going to join up that one to that one and that one to that one because that's women, which is plural in English, that's dative plural, that's woman, singular in English, that's dative singular. Okay, those two are now done. Let's go for the others. We've got a distinction between masters and master here, so we can just find the one with the singular master, and we can see uh, we can see dominus, domini, domini, sorry, domini, domini, and dominus. So the master is singular here, so we can just choose dominus. So let's do that one. We can check it if we like. Um, the master gave the dogs to his friend. Dogs is plural, amico is native singular, so that's all okay. So two more left. We've got the masters gave the dog to his friends and the masters gave the dog to their friend. But that's actually a mistake there. That should be there, shouldn't it, as well? But that is the same. I'll try and change that. So the masters gave the dog to their friends or the masters gave the dog to their friend. What's the difference? Plural here, singular here. So we're looking at these two. They're identical apart from that stative plural, that stative singular. So putting it all together, we can say that's the master. The top one is the masters gave the dog to their friends, which is the plural one here, friends and amikis, and then friend and amico, both singular down there. So that's it. Let's zoom back and um, show you the thing in all its glory. There it is. Okay, uh, just run through that completely correct test and good luck when it's your turn.